Hi, welcome to this uh, quick demo of Missif. Uh, my name is Louis. I'm a customer experience specialist um, here at Missif. This webinar is going to showcase the core features that Missif has to offer. And we're going to see how shared inboxes function and how you can automate some of your work and just a general overview um, of the application. So if you're a brand new user uh, who wants to expedite your onboarding with us, or if you need to brush up on your Missif concepts, then this video is perfect for you. Here on my screen, you should be able to see Missif. So it looks a lot like a regular email client. It is divided into three main sections. So here we have the sidebar. This is where you can see your mailboxes, labels, pin conversations, and more. In the middle, you will see a list of all the conversations. And once you click on one of the conversation, it will reveal its contents. So uh, what's the typical workflow and core features? Most of you will use Missive to collaborate around a shared uh, source of messages. Emails like support at company.com, info at company.com, uh, maybe a Google group, uh, SMS or social media accounts. So in order to collaborate efficiently in Missive, you need to create what we call uh, team inboxes. So team inboxes live here in the sidebar. This is a place where uh, shared messages arrive and where team members can see the work that needs to be done. Okay, so uh, here in this demo, I have a couple of team inboxes. One is the sales team inbox, the other one is the support team inbox. The support team inbox is connected to an email account, uh, support at company.com, and the support team is made up of uh, a few of my colleagues. For this webinar, let, let's suppose that I am a new employee. I'm working for this company uh, who creates name badges and I'm going to be joining the support team. Uh, and let's also suppose that this is my first day, so I don't know a lot about the company or how to respond uh, to emails. So uh, as you can see here, I have a total of six uh, conversations. So uh, everyone who belongs to the support team will see those six total conversations, but the number of unseen conversations or unread conversations is going to change depending on who's looking uh, at the app. So in my case, I have just two unseen conversations, but that will, th this will be different for uh, for a colleague of mine. Maybe they have read all the conversations uh, or, or, or just a few. So that's what it means that each team member has their own read status. So in normal email clients, when you're sharing logins, uh, if someone reads an email, then it is going to be marked as read for everyone. This can sometimes cause issues when tracking the work that needs to be done. But this is not something that happens uh, in Missive. Uh, also, here at the top, you will see avatars. These are the people who have access to uh, the conversation. And how an avatar is styled can tell you, amongst other things, whether a person has read or not an email. That's what the blue dot here represents. Also, if the avatar has a blue ring around it, then it means that this person is currently looking at the same conversation uh, as you are. Okay, back to the example. So this is an email from a customer named Carl who wants to know if we are able to extend the same offer uh, as in 2019. So as I mentioned, I'm a new employee. I don't know a lot about the company yet, so I don't know how to respond to this email. So in Missive, instead of having to maybe take a screenshot and share it in Slack or forward this to my manager, I can use the internal chat feature that we have right here. So here, if I tag someone, for example, my colleague uh, Raf, and then just ask for help, this is an internal comment. That is, this is not going to be seen by my customer, Carl, only by people working uh, in my organization. Uh, but in this specific case, Raphael is going to get a notification in his Missive app and he's going to uh, get access to the conversation so that he can see exactly why I'm requesting uh, for help. So let's suppose that he used also his um, chat bar here and he is saying, oh no, we cannot extend the same offer as in 2019 uh, due to inflation. Okay, so now I can reply to the customer. Now in Missive, you have a few ways of how you can reply to a message. But first, let's, let's just click on reply. Okay, so when I do this, Missive automatically assigns the conversation to myself. This is a setting that can be changed, but by default, it is going to be assigned to you. And a few things happen. So first, as you can see, we no longer have six total conversations. We only have five. 
Why? Because this conversation has been assigned to me. So it is moved out of, of this view, which is the triage view. And it is moved to my inbox. Why this is happening? Because if the conversation were to stay here, then other people would think that this is still something that needs to be done and it has not been assigned to anyone. So they would maybe lose time by looking at conversations that have already been assigned to other people. But as I mentioned, if you don't like default setting of having the conversation assigned automatically when you reply to it, you can change this in the settings. Okay, so back to the reply. Here, uh, I can simply just start typing the uh, answer or, or, or the response to my customer's uh, question. Uh, but in Missive, you can also reply to an email in a couple of different uh, ways. The first one is by using canned responses, which are pre-written pieces of content that help you save time when you're answering to commonly asked uh, questions. So if you get this question, are you able to extend the same offer as in previous years a lot? You can uh, simply create a canned response and whenever you want to use it, you can click here on the pencil, look for it, and then click on insert response. This is going to um, fill out the email with the uh, predetermined response and then you can just send it to the customer. But in this uh, video, we're going to show you uh, the integration that Missive has with OpenAI, the creators of ChatGPT. So amongst other things, it lets you generate uh, responses based on those canned responses that we previously discussed. But uh, if that's not what you need, you can also prompt the AI to reply uh, something a bit more uh, specific or complex. So let's try that. If I wanted to use a prompt option, I would click here, prompt and then tell the AI reply to message no uh, because of inflation. And then I click on generate. So the OpenAI integration is going to quickly read my customer's email. And based on the prompt that I gave it, it is going to draft a response. I'm glad to hear you're interested in our services again. Unfortunately, due to inflation and increased costs, we cannot extend the same offer as in 2019. Excellent. So this makes a lot of sense to me. I think I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna keep it just like that. Maybe at a have a great day. Okay, this typo can also be fixed with the OpenAI integration. Okay, so I think this is ready to be sent. Now, if I click on send and close, this is of course going to send the the email to my customer. Uh, and if Carl, it's if at some point he has a new question, and if he responds to this. Uh, thread, the reply is going to go straight into my inbox and not the team inbox. This is also a setting that can be changed in case you want a different behavior, in case you want all the um, replies in assigned conversations to go back to the team inbox so that maybe someone else can deal with, uh, th with the new request. So a quick recap. The inbox is a place where you consume all messages that are related to you. So things that have been assigned to you, at mentions, um, private emails, etc. So you have full control of everything in it. The team inbox, on the other hand, is a shared place where you triage messages before they get to your inbox. So it's great for teams who handle an important number of messages and who want to share the workload amongst uh, team members. So it's important to know that in Missive, you can also import private accounts and all messages would go directly to uh, your inbox. Nothing would go to the team inbox. Everything would be uh, private. And if you, for some reason, want to share something with the team, you can share it and then remove access to it uh, later. In Missive, you can also create uh, internal chat conversations, private or shared ones. So they are perfect places for note taking or to discuss specific things. So in this example, uh, my colleague Raphael is taking, has created a conversation named social media campaign, and he is asking me to take a look at it. But I'm in the middle of a recording this video, so I cannot do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to snooze it for uh, a time uh, in the future. So if I click here on snooze and then select the time, let's say this afternoon at 1 p.m., this conversation is be, has been removed from my inbox, but at 1 p.m. it is going to pop back so that I can work on the social media campaign. If I have some time between now and 1 p.m., 1 PM I can always go to the snoozed mailbox to see all the conversations that I have snoozed 
uh, for the future. So if I click here, you can see that it is right here. And at 1 p.m., it should pop back uh, in my inbox. Okay, but back to the workflow. So we've discussed a little bit how team members can collaborate in Missive, but what about managers? How can they efficiently keep track of the workload? Well, in a team inbox, you can always navigate to different mailboxes uh, to see different kinds of activities. Uh, so for example, if you want to see what every, all the things that are happening inside a team inbox, you can click here on the ellipsis and navigate to a sub mailbox, like for example, the all sub mailbox. Here we can see all the activity, sent emails, um, drafts, we can see archived conversations, uh, etc. So you can see everything there. If you want to see what other people are working on, you can open, for example, the assign to others. So um, when an email or a conversation first comes into the team inbox, it is going to show up here in the triage area or triage view. And once you reply to something and it is assigned to you or it is assigned to someone else, then the conversation is moved out of this view and moved elsewhere. So if it's a colleague of yours who assigned something to themselves, then it is going to be moved to the assigned to others. If it is something that you assign to yourself, then it is going to be moved to the assigned uh, to me. So now if you're a manager and you want to see what a specific person is working on or what has been assigned to a specific user, you can navigate to uh, any of these sub mailboxes and then apply a filter. So if we go to the all sub mailbox to see all the activity, I can click here on the filter button and then click on assign to and then select one of my uh, team members. In this case, if I select Raphael, I would see all the conversations that have been assigned to Raphael. Now, we also offer an analytics engine that can show you, um, that can provide metrics of the team's performance. And depending on the plan that you're subscribed to, you can see team level metrics or individual member performance. So here we can see like the overall view. This is the overview report. And we see um, like a consolidated view of the entire organization. And we can see metrics like first reply time, handle time, amount of messages received, messages sent, uh, we can create comparisons of different metrics, change the time frame, etc. You can also export the metrics via our uh, API. Okay, so we are about to conclude the, this video, but not before we explore one of Missive's most uh, powerful features, in my opinion. And uh, these are the rules. So rules are um, a way to highly customize and automate your workflow. They work by you defining conditions that when met, they trigger actions. In Missive, we offer uh, personal rules. These apply to private conversations, like uh, for example, your, your private emails and uh, organization rules. So these apply to shared conversations uh, or um, emails sent to a shared inbox. Like for example, the support at company.com uh, email account. Now we have three different types of rules. We have them for incoming messages for outgoing ones and user actions. So these two are pretty self-explanatory. User actions are uh, things that you do in the app, like a play a label, maybe add a new, com add a new comment uh, or something else. And whenever you do something like, like that, that can trigger something else uh, inside the application. Now let's talk about a few examples. So a common use of rules is the automated distribution of incoming messages. So instead of having to manually triage each message that goes to a team inbox, you can create a rule that automatically assigns conversations to team members based on a variable. So if you wanted to create a rule like that, you can click here, new incoming rule, to select the kind of message, in this case, emails. First, we need to add a description. Let's just say auto assign emails to support team. And first we need to add a condition. So I want that whenever someone sends an email to the support team, I want Missive to assign the conversations to someone in the support team, someone who is currently online. Why? Because I have people working in different time zones and I want Missive to assign the conversation to the least busy person first. I have a few other options like randomly, in turn, all at once, but for my business, it makes sense to assign to the least busy person first. Now, 
once this rule has been created, I no longer need to monitor the team inbox, uh, the support team inbox, because Missive is going to automatically assign the new emails to someone in the support team, someone who is currently online, and to the least busy person uh, first. Now, for outgoing messages, uh, maybe you have an email account admin at company.com, and you don't want uh, certain people to be sending emails from there. So you can create a rule that says, if uh, employee A, B, and C try to send an email from admin at, uh, stop processing the email, uh, convert it into a draft, and maybe notify a manager of, uh, of this activity. So that's, uh, that's one example. Now for the user actions, uh, they, you can do some pretty convenient things too. So for example, you can use it to expedite bookkeeping. Uh, so you know how when you buy something for your business, you need you will, will, will if you buy something online, you will get the receipt in an email, and then you need to forward that receipt to your accountant. Uh, you also want to label uh, all those receipts under a single label. For example, the receipts label to keep everything together. And since it was an email sent to you with the um, with the receipt, well, you you want to clear it from your inbox so that uh, to you can keep it clutter free. So instead of doing all those things manually, you can create a user action that gets triggered when you type a specific keyword or comment. So um, in description, again, let's name it bookkeeping. The condition is going to be that whenever you type the word hashtag receipt, uh, you want missive to apply the label receipts, then forward the conversation or the email to your accountant. And then at the end, um, archive the conversation from your inbox to keep it uh, clutter free. Okay, so now we have created this user action rule. Now here I have this receipt that, from a purchase I made uh, in Amazon and here if I want to trigger that rule, I can simply type hashtag receipt here in the chat bar and Missive is going to automatically do all those actions for me. So first it is going to apply the label receipts. Then it is going to forward the conversation with the PDF uh, receipt to my accountant. And then at the end, it is going to remove it from my inbox to keep it uh, clutter free. So as you can see, you can do a lot of really cool things with the rules. They really can be game changers uh, in terms of productivity. Okay, so well, this is the end of the video. Uh, thank you for uh, for watching it. Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to uh, support at missivap.com. Thank you. Bye.